we secretly filmed uh, people doing karaoke, even on holiday in Spain, and then we got them to the theatre under false pretenses, and they had no idea we had the footage, and they had no idea that Gary Barlow was going to be there, and they ended up duetting. <laughs> I mean, you just yeah. die, wouldn't you? Yeah. Well, there's a, there's one woman in this. Uh, she's called Pauline, and. Well, it's, it's the funniest thing I've ever seen, her karaoke um, with Gary Barlow. Uh, I don't want to give it away, but it's yeah, absolutely but it is definitely worth seeing. And yes, there she was mortified. some <laughs> brilliant new ideas. Um, uh, my favourite, and I, we watched it on Saturday night, I was just roaring. The, uh, the Midnight Game Show is an inspired idea. Yeah, it's tense. Um, but, yeah, so they, they nominate their partner and we creep in. And on Saturday we had, obviously, a Teletubby, Bill Oddie, and we've got loads of celebrities through the series doing it. And, and they just wake up and then, and possible. then this, this, uh, this sort of unfolds, you're there. I mean, how do they yeah. not completely freak? I mean, cos it could be quite dangerous. Well, I mean, we start with Dean, who yeah. giggles his way through He's it. great. Yeah. Um, there's one coming up, uh, Lee, who unfortunately heard a noise... Uh, so he was on his way up. So we didn't wake him up. He heard a noise. Then the door swung open and the cameraman in the darkness looked obviously like some kind of alien or something. And um, he didn't deal with that moment with machismo. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he screams and ends up um, in his boxer shorts, upturned on the floor, just, just literally completely stunned. Oh um, but God. soon starts laughing and he has a great well, time. People goodness. think that you they could think that you're burglars. Well, yeah, there's another guy who actually the back door broke um, when he was going to bed and his final thought before going to sleep was, um, oh, I've got to get that fixed. I hope I'm all right. I hope burgers don't break in. And that was the night oh that we gosh. came in. Um, and that's another... I mean, he jumps out of the bed. I mean, he's literally, you know, he's, he's up there. He's ready to go. I mean, this, this was the opposite. He was like, he's quite a big guy, a gym, gym guy. He's right up. He's like, Conan! Conan! <laughs> Conan! <laughs> and then he calmed down. And, um, and within moments, Ola Jordan was dancing in his bedroom. Oh, uh, <laughs> we had a man dressed as an orangutan. <laughs> And uh, it was hilarious. Um, I love Unexpected Star of the Show. Um, and you've really gone all out this year. I mean, there's one that's still to come. Do you change the theatre into a hotel? Yeah, well, we, we have to think of more exciting ways always to get people to, um, to surprise them on stage. So yeah. we've got one coming up um, in a few weeks' time, which, is, uh, which was probably our biggest one. I mean, we've got lots of them that are crazy. We've got a guy that ends up on a horse in the middle of the stage. You <laughs> could actually be discovering new stars here, because, I mean, uh, I've been tipped off a little bit about uh, who's going to be singing on Saturday. Show. Yeah, Saturday was an extraordinary one. Um, he's an 11-year-old boy. Um, he's called a nush, and... I mean, he's, he just, he, he's, he's completely sensational. It's like, because obviously I'll be watching, I've showed my family and they can't yeah. stop watching. I watched him in the car on the way here. I mean, I'm he sounds amazing. He's the cutest thing you'll ever see. He really I, and I was lucky enough to see it and I saw it and I thought it's one of those moments where you watch it and it's like one of those Britain's Got Talent moments where you just go, Oh my! He's, yeah. he's like a he's a proper he's like little Michael star. He's like an eleven-year-old Michael Jackson, and he sings Michael Jackson as well, which is it's, and that's it's on amazing. this Saturday, isn't that's it? That's on this okay. Saturday. He really, really brings the house down. Mm. I mean, I remember in rehearsals in the day because we surprised him the day before because he's so young, and I dressed up as an Italian waiter, and uh, we we did a big prank on him, and I obviously you got twenty-four hours to get ready because he's because so, he's so young. So he came in rehearsed in the daytime. And I'd never, the crew, because you're just rehearsing for just the production team. And it was just, somebody just turned to me and went, OK, we've got, if his voice breaks in the next four hours, <laughs> we're, we're in real trouble. Uh, um, but the, I'd never heard a noise. When he finished performing and the audience were on their feet, it was magical. Because oh. I, I did Ritz Got Talent. I was there for some of those amazing yeah. moments. And they're off the scale when somebody sings yeah, extraordinary. Yeah. And the atmosphere when everyone That's feels it. there's something special going on. I, uh, I mean, so well deserves it, its BAFTA. And, uh, and I... I love the well fact that you. on the night of the, yeah. the Bayer, uh, on the night of the BAFTA, you were actually more concerned about something else. I was concerned about it. Well, first of all, I didn't think I'd win. <laughs> or could it be jewellery? Oh, well, my, we did borrow... I've heard of people borrowing jewellery. I don't go to a lot of these awards things, but I've heard of people borrowing jewellery, so yeah. I tried my luck and I phoned uh, jewellers and I was like, I'm going to the BAFTAs, would you lend my wife some, something? <laughs> Christmas shopping? Yes. Oh, well, you know what it's like. And my wife um, gives me very specific instructions right. to the extent that she puts everything aside and has it pre-wrapped and I pick it up. <laughs> Christmas, right. There's no surprises. Christmas Day is just her opening presents going, correct. <laughs> <laughs>
correct. So she pretty much knows uh, what's <laughs> happening. But the main thing is, we get, I think we're going to get a dog this year. Are we're you? Getting a dog next week. So that's all our Christmas. We're just staying at home and doing all the whatever you need to and do. And how are you feeling about that? Training and stuff. Are terrified. You? Completely terrified. Are you good with, with the dogs? children? I don't know. I've just met my first dog over there. Dig Digby. Digby. <laughs> Digby's the first dog I've really met. <laughs> is it a big so, dog or a little dog? It's a little, it's a little dog. A small it's a Norfolk Terrier. He's a puppy. Oh. And we're going to pick him up next week. We're very excited. That's Aww. so exciting.